GFA Net is a project of the European Coast Guard Fashions Forum developed under the coordination of the Finnish Border Guard since 2014. The main goals, which are quite ambitious, are to support the establishment of a Coast Guard Functions Academies network, to increase student and expert exchange between Coast Guard authorities and academies, to create a training portal website, and to develop the structure of a sectoral qualification framework for Coast Guard functions. This last objective was assigned to the Italian Coast Guard, supported by colleagues belonging to Coast Guard functions organizations of different EU member states. Our SQF experts have identified the appropriate levels and learning outcomes for each Coast Guard functions in order to define the architecture of the SQF. In this job, a relevant contribution has been provided also by an external expert named CIMEA and the EU agencies dealing with Coast Guard functions. The sectoral qualifications framework for Coast Guard functions will be an added value for the work carried out by Coast Guard authorities in order to guarantee safer, cleaner and more secure seas. The SQF is a useful tool to set up actions to promote cross-border training within the EU and third countries and facilitate the creation of an Erasmus-like training program for Coast Guard personnel. The ultimate goal of the network is to improve interoperability and cooperation between national Coast Guard authorities in order to cope with common challenges and protect our seas. Frontex is a big supporter of this project, um, especially because um, it's very important to um, uh, ensure in the framework of our uh, interagency uh, collaboration that we are in the position to streamline uh, the developments in the field of training and capacity building. And having two related sectoral frameworks, one in the field of border guarding and one in the field of coast guarding, um, is the perfect tool to achieve these goals. We are quite impressed with the work done by the um, um, Coast Guard Functions Forum Network in developing the sectoral qualification frameworks for coast guarding. And um, given the fact that Frontex was involved from the very beginning of this project and uh, contributed at uh, several levels with technical expertise and also with um, strategic guidance. Um, we are very confident that um, it would be very easy and uh, very useful to cross-reference uh, the two sectoral frameworks and uh, this will have a, an important impact on um, ensuring that the training that we develop and we deliver uh, for border and coast guard officers um, is operationally relevant, uh, truly addresses the needs of the uh, member states' organizations that deal with uh, border and coast guard activities. Uh, also that this training can be accredited, uh, recognized, quality assured, and um, ultimately this would raise uh, the profile of, of the professions. Uh, the role of EMSA in this project is to support the member states in the development of these uh, SQF and ensuring at the same time that what's going to be developed is harmonized with the legal framework, procedures and the guidelines which are applicable on cost car functions under EMSA's remit. Yes, to be honest, it was a really challenge and the result, it was better indeed. Uh, after all the preparation, after the, all the work and after the study, uh, the, and uh, the several drafts that we did, uh, the, the feeling of holding something physical in your hands, like the present document, it's uh, something uh, wonderful. And we, look, we are looking for the, the next phase. Even if I have uh, my doubts uh, in the first time, uh, I finally uh, can say that uh, this project was uh, a very successful one. Uh, having in mind that uh, this project gives to all the European coast authorities uh, a useful tool uh, for the European Coast Guard Authority. For sure the project was uh, challenging, but at the end uh, I think that we will have uh, a useful tool in the hands of the European Coast Guard authorities. I believe that the project was successful and it will be a, a useful tool for European Coast Guard to have a common approach to perform their tasks.
I can't speak for my colleagues, uh, but I think the most difficult part of the uh, project for me was moving away from national stereotypes and national roles and looking for broader ideas as regarding learning outcomes. This was um, easy uh, for the search and rescue uh, function, uh, which is quite broad anyway, as opposed to the uh, disaster emergency response, um, which needed to be narrowed down. And um, the help from uh, my colleagues was very, very good on that. Well, in my case, uh, for maritime safety, um, which is a very wide subject, uh, the most difficult part for me was uh, to try to narrow it and uh, to find uh, just a few learning outcomes uh, that summarize all the, all the content of the, of, the, of the subject. Activities under function number five, maritime monitoring and surveillance are done by so many different authorities in different European countries that it was uh, hard to find a common uh, learning outcome comes that suits everyone. So I had to be quite generic creating learning outcomes on function number five. The sectoral qualification framework is a tool in order to show a specific sector in terms of knowledge, skills and competencies. In the project we realize in the framework of the Coast Guard functions the sectoral framework was a very efficient instrument in order to promote a dialogue between the national authorities in order to compare the different national systems and the different ways to manage the different activities related to the Coast Guard functions. It can allow to compare national qualification referencing them to SQF model already built, enhancing interoperability among Coast Guard operators and facilitating the mobility of the teachers about the future after involving the stakeholders in order to match the SQF model to their needs. Next steps can be the development of the national SQF the development of a common core curricula for the levels of various qualifications and definitely the development of common standard course on Coast Guard activities. Well, concluding this SQF architecture will be the starting model that could be updated in the future with a cyclic revision process according to the evolution of employment needs of each function.